uh, we're going to be looking at the crystal battery today and uh, if you see this one here it was in a video about three months ago uh, I put the epoxy on the on the top and sealed it and uh, if you look at it of course there's no corrosion and I, of course I don't know if there's any corrosion inside but that's yet to be seen uh, what we can see here is uh, I want to show uh, not how they're made but the missing element right now that I don't don't have that I, I want to make about a half a dozen more batteries right now but I can't make them until I make some more uh, borax crystals but uh, if you look at this battery here uh, you'll see that it's uh, 1.36 uh, volts and uh, also uh, if we look uh, at the amperage it uh, oh let's see I've done that before all right I'm only getting about 50 uh, millivolts out uh, millivolts out of it so uh, that's it for now but what I want to show is I'm going to move this out of the way uh, how, how I actually uh, make these so I take a copper pipe I slice it to three inch pieces I then take and a piece of uh, number 14 uh, copper wire and just solder it to the side of it and that gives me the outside I then take a magnesium uh, fire starter, slice it into three pieces, so I have three pieces of magnesium. And then, of course, I put the magnesium inside here, uh, a layer of epoxy on the bottom. I fill it with my uh, ingredients, and then I top it off again with some more epoxy. Okay, pretty much that's it. We'll have a video on this uh, as soon as I get the uh, borax crystals made. And so basically that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to uh, make some borax crystals. What we need for that is uh, I use a measuring cup. Water, you can use distilled water. I try to use bottled water. Out here where I live it's uh, water that uh, has uh, things in it that float. And I don't want that in my crystals. Uh, so how I'm going to start is uh, I'm going to use a uh, uh, a new way. I can control the temperature much better with that. That's fantastic. That way I don't boil it. I just bring it up uh, almost to boiling. Okay, and here's how I do it. I, I'm not saying that this is the way that you should make uh, a borax crystal cells. What I'm showing you is the way that I make borax crystal cells. I start uh, with uh, a cup of water and since I have a one-third measuring cup we'll do three of them. And a little bit over doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so we have approximately one cup of uh, water. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, start that up. It only takes a minute or so for it to get to boiling, so it'll be warm enough in just a few seconds. Uh, what I'm going to do here now is uh, I'm going to take an equal amount of uh, borax, so I guess well here, I guess that wouldn't be equal, would it? Oh, there's one. It won't go to waste. We're going to be adding more later on. That's two. That's about three. We'll start with that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, just 
Just put it in. I use this so I don't have any metal going. It's an induction cooker, so I don't want to use metal. So I use this plastic here. But I'll, uh, I can increase the temperature here. Two oh five. It's not going to boil. Oops. You ought to see me with magnets. Okay. I don't think it's all that bad to boil it, but the problem is if you boil it, you have less water. And what you want is you want a particular amount of water that's totally saturated uh, with the uh, powder. Now this will clear up. But it's going to take a while. Now the video is limited to 8 minutes so I'm going to warn you ahead of time so we're going to have to be cutting it off before this job is done. But I think you'll get the idea. We should be able to get through at least two, a couple of cycles on this to where it, it, it will clear up. And then once it clears up, then we're going to sit there and add some more and just keep stirring. And you stir and you add more and you add more and then you stir until it's clear. Uh, it's the same thing with the uh, sugar crystals, but... This one here is pretty, it's neater because you actually get the crystals overnight. We'll let these set overnight. This will be part one. We're going to do a part two because I'll show you after uh, we have everything in there, what we're going to end up doing is we will filter it, put it into a glass jar, and then insert a pipe cleaner in there uh, so that it uh, we're able to... Uh, actually make the crystals, let the, have something for the crystals to grow on. But this will end up being the final. And now it's cleared up. So what we will do is, we will continue to add more. And every time you add more, you just keep making sure that it stays clear or you keep it clear. You stir it until it clears back up again. Okay, then when it clears up, you add a little more. I try to make sure that none sticks to the bottom. Uh, eventually that's going to probably be impossible though. But if it sticks to the bottom then it'll get hard on you and create ch hard chunks like calcium deposits or something.
I try not to have any of those in there. It's a little tough sometimes to get them dissolved. Now you keep adding it until you can't, till it won't clear up anymore. At that point you can add a little bit more water if you want to clear it up or it doesn't matter. It's just repetition. You stir it, clear it, and add more till it won't clear anymore. And then, and then that's when the water is fully saturated with the soap. Now, I, I've used uh, borax in all my previous uh, batteries since I saw Ivy Pointless 2 used it and had good results. So, I, uh, I started trying it myself and I was pleased. So, therefore, now I've uh, I'm decided I was going to go ahead and Instead of just using borax, go ahead and borax crystals. So I would have borax crystals. I would have Rochelle salt crystals. And also, uh, the one that I added on the prototype battery that I'm using now is the sugar crystals. Now I take that and I mix it in with magnetite. And uh, I put a little bit of all-purpose glue in it. And, and it chunks it up and then I kind of smash that all up and I add a little bit of olive oil and the olive oil I coat the magnesium rod with the olive oil and I also have olive oil inside the mix and I found that I have either much much less corrosion or I don't have any at all uh, I would always, I, I like to say that I never use water in it, but as you can see, I, there's water in all steps of it. There's water used in making the Rochelle salt. There's water used in using the sugar crystals. There's uh, making the sugar crystals. There's uh, water used in making the borax crystals. So it has water in it, but it, uh, I never add any in later on. My original battery uh, ran about two years. Uh, with using Laser Saber's miniature uh, jewel ringer, which was really nice. But that battery uh, really corroded up bad. This is what they look like when they start getting corroded. Uh, that's what made me uh, switch over to the olive oil. My hero in the battery is Fosto. Fosto Hyken, and he, you, if you haven't seen Fosto's uh, crystal cell battery, it, it, there's no one who's done done the work on crystal cells that I think he had. He's he's worked years on it, and, and uh, he has so many different different uh, uh, recipes, I would say, for the things that go in it. Okay, still a little bit foggy. I'll add just a little more. I think this may do it though. It may be better to use a deeper a saucepan, smaller in diameter, deeper, but uh, I don't know. If I'm going to use the uh, induction cooker, I'd rather have a larger surface area.
Okay, I think uh, that will about do it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to let it cool and then I'll come back to you. Down, uh, they recommend between 130 and 170 before you start pouring it or working with it. But as you can see here, it's optimum. And the liquid is fairly clear. And uh, what we're going to do is we've uh, prepared a glass over here. Picked up pipe cleaner. Uh, this will give something, the crystals, uh, something to form on and to grow on. And uh, you can pick this up at Walmart or any hobby shop. Uh, I picked up a bag of them. I use them for almost all my crystal growing. Uh, I form them into a figure eight somewhat. And then I put a bend on the bottom so that it doesn't touch the bottom, it comes close to the bottom, but does not touch the bottom, nor does it touch the sides. And as you can see here, it's suspended and it can move. We'll let it balance out where it's in the middle. And then we can just go ahead and pour our liquid. Okay, now I will take this and just set it aside. And uh, tomorrow morning we should have some beautiful crystals growing there. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, after about uh, four hours. As you can see, they grow real nice on there. All right. Okay. I'll put it back because I believe it'll grow a little bit more, and we're going to need substantially more crystals for the uh, for the battery. Okay, this is the first batch, and as you can see, there are small crystals, but this will be the first batch. We need a little bit more than this to make uh, to make our our uh, our batch of our recipe for the batteries. So uh, we'll continue later on.